Welcome to Data Doctor's video, Suggestion 133. No dates. Dates on relatives. Open. Unknown status. Let's take a moment to discuss the four qualifiers of this suggestion. 1. No dates means the profile has no birth, marriage, or death BMD dates. 2. Dates on relatives means at least one relative has at least one BMD date. 3. Open means that it's an open profile and can be edited by any wiki trier who has signed the honor code and, if applicable, has the correct badge, i.e. pre-1700 or pre-1500 for profiles in those date ranges. 4. Unknown status means it's not known if the person is still living. There are two examples in this video. The first shows a profile where documentation is found. The second shows how to estimate the birth year. Suggestion 133 is caused when there are no dates for birth, death, or marriage, but there are for his relatives. Here is the suggestion report for Richard Mannion. As you can see, it only lists one suggestion, 133. The info column gives the number 18590699. That is the estimated date of birth based on his relatives, 1859 for the year, 6 is for the month, and 99 is a placeholder for the day. Here is the public view of Richard's profile. Hover over his wife's name until her info box appears. It states that she was born in 1859, so it's likely he was born around that same time. The biography has an 1880 U.S. Census record showing that he was 23 at the time, which makes his birth year around 1857. Go to the top right of the screen and hover over his Wikitree ID. At the drop-down menu, click on Research. The next screen shows Root Search, which offers several choices for research. Add an estimated birth year of 1855. Click on Family Search since it is a free site. There is a New York City Municipal Death Index, which lists his birth year as 1857 and his death on September 8, 1916. Further research revealed a Find a Grave Memorial with a headstone photo for Richard and his wife, which agrees with the death index record. Return to his profile and click Edit. Add the birth and death dates and complete the death place. Scroll down to the biography section to add the new sources, starting with the death index. Click the citation button above. Return to the family search death index and copy the source citation, pasting it on Richard's profile between the ref tags. Repeat the process for the Find a Grave Memorial. In that source, you need to add the Wikitree template find a grave, memorial number, and same as equals yes. You also need to delete the find a grave URL. Click on preview to check your work. The biography section looks correct and the sources are showing properly under the sources heading. Go to the middle of the profile page and explain your changes. This is strongly recommended for all Wikitree users and is required for data doctors. For me, I identify myself as a data doctor, copy the suggestion number and name, and explain what I changed. Save your work. Return to the suggestions report and on the far right, click on status. On the next page, the suggestion status report Make sure your Wikitree ID is showing. Of the five status options, choose one, in this case, corrected. Leave a comment from the comment hints or make one of your own. Click the Update Status button. The last screen shows the status history has recorded your changes. And you're done. Before we work with the profile, here is a word of caution. Don't add a birth date 
that is less than a hundred years, and then leave the death date blank, unless you are the profile manager. That birth date with a blank death date causes the profile status to change to living, which changes the privacy level from open to closed. You will not be able to see or do anything further. If this happens, send an email to info at wikitree.com so the SysOp team can unlock it. Also, don't estimate a death date if you can't find one. You can click About Uncertain but Non-Living without entering a date. That should prevent the profile from blocking. Here is the suggestion report for Elizabeth Sherburn. As you can see, it only lists one suggestion, 133. The info column gives the number 14700699, meaning the birth year is estimated to be 1470. Here is the public view of Elizabeth's profile. Hover over her father's name until his info box appears. It states that he was born around 1450. Her mother was born in 1455. Her sister, Anne, born in 1490. A brother, Richard, born in 1491. And a sister, Grace, born before 1510. Elizabeth was born somewhere in this time range. Check the accuracy of dates on relatives' profiles. They can also provide hints on sources and where to look for them. After searching Ancestry, Family Search, Find a Grave, Google, and other genealogy sites, no birth documentation has been found for Elizabeth. Note, this is a pre-1500 profile and you need a pre-1500 badge to edit this page. Click on Edit. In this case, it is recommended to estimate her year of birth, so let's make it 1495. Check about uncertain. We can also add a place of birth to be England. Check uncertain. This estimation comes with two requirements. First, create an estimated date template above the biography heading. Second, create a subheading, research notes, under the biography heading and leave your notes on how you arrived at that date. Click on Preview to check your work. The template is showing properly, as well as the research notes. As before, go to the middle of the screen and explain your changes. Save your work. Return to the Suggestion Report and click on Status. On the Suggestion Status Report, choose Corrected and leave a comment. Click the Update Status button. The status history shows the changes have been recorded. And you're done.